In this question, the piece of code is provided, and then these options are provided. Here, we need to find out how many test cases are required to cover statement coverage and branch coverage. To do that, let's first analyze the code and draw the flowchart. Here, line number one, switch PC on, and line number two. Start Outlook are statements. We can represent them like this in the flowchart. Now let's see line number three. If Outlook appears, this is a condition, and we can represent it like this in a flowchart. Since it is a condition, we shall get minimum two outcomes. If line number three is true, then send an email. Which is line number four and five, and we can represent it like this. Before going to next line, we have to understand an important concept here. Since line number four is then, and we don't have any starting bracket here, only one statement after it will be executed when the condition becomes true. Let me repeat it again. Because after then there is no start bracket, as per the coding rule, only one statement after it will be executed in the same branch. Now let's see how to represent it in the flowchart for more clarity. Here, only one statement is executing if condition becomes true. Since there is no else part in the code, nothing happens when the condition fails. And we have to show it like this. And line number six is close Outlook, and it will be represented like this in the flowchart. So this is how we have to draw the flowchart. Now let's find the correct answer. First, we have to find how many test cases are required to cover statement coverage. Here we have these three statements. And to cover them, we only need one test case. Next, we have to find how many test cases are required branch coverage. Do not get confused with the term branch coverage. Condition coverage and branch coverage are the same. Here we have two conditions, and to cover it, we need two test cases. That means. Option B is the correct answer. One test for statement coverage, two for branch coverage.